everyone. Winter can be beautiful, but we all know it can also be dangerous. So if you have to deal with ice, you might need some help. Who better to help us test out ice melters than the one and only Carson? Hey, Carson. Do you like my ice patch? <laughs> Every house has a spot on the outside somewhere, either on a patio or a deck or a walkway that's slippery. Tracy, do you know where yours is? Oh yeah, as soon as you leave the house um, and go down the three stairs in the front, icy. Like if it's a cold, freezing day, that's gonna be the ice patch. Always, it's always the case. For me, it's here between my hot tub and my back door. Uh -oh. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I also happen to have a dripping ease trough right here. So this is the slippery spot. So Tracy, do you just walk around your slippery spot or do you put something on it to make it less slippery? Oh, we have to put something on it because you imagine the mail carrier takes a flying leap. We don't want that to happen. So a big chunky salt is what we put down. Yeah, and that's pretty common. And I'm glad you mentioned that fact about the mail carrier because a lot of people will ignore their slippery spot because they just walk around it. But for insurance purposes, you have to treat it. Mm -hmm. So I have a few options for you that maybe you haven't considered before. Let me show you. So first, we've got that salt that Tracy mentioned, that rock salt called halite. This is actually a byproduct from when they take salt water from the ocean and they turn it into fresh water. They get this stuff. Now this goes straight down on top of the ice and it will actually cause melting. But, and here's the big but, this only melts the ice if there's actual water on the ice. So it already has to start melting before this will effectively create more melt. Mm. Now it sounds a little odd, but when you get one of those kind of warmish days and the ice starts getting that slippery sheen on top, that's when this works its best. However, rock salt is very hazardous for patio stones and for plants. You don't want to put this on walkways going in between gardens because this stuff, as it washes out, will kill plants and will kill grass. I've got another option for you that might be a little bit more environmentally friendly though. This is one of those eco melters. This is actually calcium sulfide or magnesium. There's a, a blend between the two. This is much more environmentally friendly for your plants. It works really well, but the way this one works, again, still gets spread down, but this creates a separation between the stone and the ice. So it kind of pops it off. So you can actually go afterwards with a shovel and kind of pop it off and move it off your, your sidewalk or your walkway. Makes it a lot more safe. I personally like this one because it's blue. <laughs> blue is important because then you can see exactly where you spread it, Yeah. right? It's not blue just for any other reason. You want to see where you put it down so that you know exactly where you've created the safe space. Now, if you want quick and easy, let's say you've got some guests coming over and you've got a wet spot like Tracy does in front of her spot or her walkway. This is salt water, just hot salt water. Salt water actually will melt the ice, but because you've put salt in it, just ordinary table salt, it actually prevents it from refreezing. So really, you're just doing this. You're melting straight down right on top of the ice. The salt in the bucket, Tracy, will actually prevent it from refreezing. It's a quick, simple solution. It doesn't last a long time, but in a pinch, you can do it right now with stuff that's at home. Now, if you live in some of the areas like Alberta or some of the colder areas, North Dakota is cold right now, Kitty litter works really well. It's mm. great for traction. It provides grip. Doesn't do anything for the melt. When you put this down, you can actually track it around. But again, it works really good as a grip. And finally, sand. Colder climate areas use sand instead of ice or rock salt to melt the ice. This doesn't melt, but it provides that traction that you're looking for. This one's great, but it doesn't do anything for the actual ice. It just allows you to walk on top of it. So Tracy, what do you think? Any of these gonna work for you? Okay, these are all really good. The other thing that's bad about the salt is it re it's really bad for the dog's paws, right? So I like some of these other uh, options. Oh, absolutely. You've tried them all. Which is your favorite? Which do you prefer? So because I'm usually coming out of the hot tub, not a lot of clothes on, maybe bare feet. I always go the eco melter because I don't want to track it into the house. So much like the dog, salt's not good for Carson. Yeah, exactly. And that would be a wicked fall from the hot tub to the house. You do not want that to happen. Okay, so the eco salt, and that's I the have one. I a few rashes in places. <laughs> and that's the one that's blue, right? That's the one that's blue. It's perfect. And it's the one I use. Unfortunately, it's the most expensive option, but some things you just got to, you know, spend the money on. Carson, thank you so much. That's good. We don't want you falling out of that hot tub.